Well, new at six o'clock and only on two thieves caught on camera stealing items from a food truck before hooking it up and driving away. But it didn't take investigators very long to locate the mobile kitchen because of one particular device. The heist went down just outside the Tokyo Joe's nightclub in the Heights. One of the owners spoke to KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner and she joins us live now from the business. Rochelle. And Daniela, the thieves stripped almost everything from this food truck, including their license plates, but forgot to take off that GPS tracker. Um, and this is kind of our first look today of what the, the damage is. It's um, cleanup day for Dustin the, Landry. The oil is everywhere. Um, a lot of our equipment's broken and, and fallen off. It's a He's one of the owners of the new and popular food truck called Updog HTX. We do gourmet hot dogs, hamburgers, tots, fries, uh, try to keep it simple, great American food. But now he has to pump the brakes after thieves paid him a visit yeah, you and they wanted the more than food. That's kind of crazy. The whole story is just wild. Surveillance video from Tokyo Joe's, a popular shot bar Landry's works with, captured a white SUV pulling into the parking lot early Tuesday morning. Two people got out. What shocked me the most was just how kind of cavalier they were about it. They, they pulled in, walked around the truck like it was theirs. After several minutes, the pair can be seen putting things in the trunk before latching up the trailer and driving off. The situation got a lot worse. See, they ripped off our license plate down here. Um, and up there is that great old city of Houston GPS that saved us. Something. Deputies in um, Harris County tracked the stolen the trailer to side. Tomball and arrested this man, Ohaji Scott, and charged him with theft. He says the thieves pulled off the brake system, scratched off the VIN number, and damaged the size of the trailer. They ripped off all of our signs, um, our menu, all of our digitally printed stuff, all that got ripped off. The setback put his business in a pickle, but the community is already helping out. Uh, there's actually a business in Katy called MBD Graphics. They do um, you know, embroidery and digital printing, and they do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, and they've actually donated the menu and all the signs that need to be replaced. And take a look at that menu they just pulled up a few minutes ago. Look at it. It looks really good, some of the items here. Now, Landry tells me that he is working to get back up to code with the city of Houston, and he's waiting to hear back from his insurance company. He plans to open up in a few days, but he does need a little help from the community. For more information, visit his Instagram page at UpDogHTX. You can make a donation there. Now, the sheriff's office also told me they arrested a second person for a parole violation. That's the latest reporting live in the Heights. I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.